Hey guys, I am here to do a quick tutorial. I hope it's quick. Uh, it's meant to be a quick tutorial on how to put a headband on a wig or wear a headband with a wig that isn't working for you. This works really well with curly wigs. I really haven't tried it with straight wigs at this point, but for curly wigs, this is great. And this is for my wig sister, Lisa. Uh, she and I messaged back and forth the other day on Facebook Messenger because she purchased Bianca, which I did a video on, and it was a hot mess. It really was. I saw pictures. Um, I, I don't know if it's what's up with the, with her Bianca, but it looks pretty bad. And so I want her to try to get a save because I'd hate for that to be a waste because I don't know that she can't return it at this point. So I told her I would do a quick tutorial because it can be a little tricky. And I want to show you me doing it so you can see how much trouble even I have. And I think that's helpful because you'll see me with wigs with headbands on and you'll think it took me two seconds to just whip it up with the headband on, but it can take some manipulation. And to make this even harder and more realistic, because this is what you're going to experience potentially, I'm doing it with a wig I've never done it with before. And a wig that I have yet to make work for me. So I just filmed, uh, so, so if you follow me, and you've seen some of my videos, especially recent videos, you know that I am trying as best as I can to start filming two part videos that show an unboxing and then how I make the wig work for me later. Because a lot of wigs come not shake and go. Some do, and I have some. I probably have more that needed help before I could wear it. And so this is one of them. So I am gonna show you this on Gabor Curl Up. So I bought Curl Up Back in November, November, December, I didn't look to see exactly when, but it was before the holidays, and I could not wear her. I just couldn't, and I got it from a closeout site. I couldn't return it. So she has been in a box this whole time, and I'm filming this right now in August. I'm not sure if I'll, I, I will get this one uploaded this weekend because I told Lisa I would. Sometimes I film videos, and I don't upload them for a while because I like to space them out. I don't want to flood my YouTube channel video, 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 you know, because that's a lot for all of you guys to watch and I want to respect your time but I want to give you good information so this one will go up right away but sometimes just so you know I do film videos and don't always get them uploaded right away so I'm gonna put curl up on and you're gonna see what I mean by she's probably not in the shape that I can just wear her I'm gonna need to do some things and I do have a wig grip on today I don't normally wear wig grips with my wigs but I didn't want to use it stays and I do need to adhere her so that's the thing if you guys wear wigs and you don't adhere them or wear a wig grip um, it'll be a little trickier to get her situated without moving once it's all in place it'll be fine but it's hard to do this without getting up you know making sure they're gonna stay as you manipulate them so and I actually haven't even tried this one on with a with a wig grip yet I just decided to use the wig grip because um, I didn't I was gonna do it stays and then I thought and eh, I don't really want to do it stays so let's just see if I can even make this work with a wig grip This is an average size. I'm also not really used to wig grips with wigs. So you're getting all kinds of first time things here in this video. Okay, so did I say it stays? I meant wig grip. I don't know what I just said. Um, so this wig has a lace front. She does not have any monofilament. I haven't really done this much with lace front wigs either. I usually do it with my Bianca because that's got a basic cap. I've got some hair in here. I don't know that I'm doing a great job. So this is it. Uh, this is curl up, and she's really wild. She needs some help up here, so I'm gonna try to make her wearable without having to use anything with her. But for the purposes of this video, I thought she could be really a good example. So first of all, you have to have a wig that you can somehow, well you don't have to, but it makes it easier, somehow pull back in a low pony or a clip or something. That does make it easier. Secondly, I recommend until you get a lot of experience using a bandana. This is just a typical bandana that I folded up into a headband shape versus one of these cloth 
headbands. I've linked this in many videos, many posts. I get them on Amazon only because tying the bandana may give you a little bit uh, more forgiveness than something that goes around your head. And I'll kind of explain that as I go along. So let me start with this one because a lot of you may have these kind of headbands. So, and it's actually your skill level too. Oh, I just poked myself in the eye with hair. Good job, Denise. <laughs> Again, I'm doing this on camera because it isn't always easy to get situated the first time. And so I want you to be, not to be so hard on yourselves. Cause I have a fair amount of experience putting headbands on and even I struggle. Okay, so my preference is, and this actually went pretty easy to start, but my preference is to make sure you've got hair that's like tucked. Now, I wouldn't need that this much with this wig because she has a lace front, but with basic caps, this then hides the cap, okay? So you get it in and then you start messing with the bangs. And if it's really curly, you might need to use some product to kind of get those bangs straightened a little bit so that they will tuck and they will lay. Now, you've got to deal with the back. So, you could figure out how to keep the hair. If it's really short, you don't need to put it back in a pony. But now, I'm going to have to mess around here and pull hair out till it looks like I want it to look kind of, you know, curls coming out of the, out of the headband. Um, I have a ponytail holder here. Let me use this one instead. And so I'm gonna put this in like a low pony in the back. So I'm just putting it in a low pony in the back. And then I'm going to mess around back there but first I'm going to get it in a pony and I'm kind of trying to look behind my phone into my bathroom mirror so I can see better. I may need to take water to her to liven up these curls. I may need to take product to her. It's going to just be you messing around. And I know my camera is going to struggle to stay focused on this when I'm turned around and I just that's the way it is. So then you want to look down here and make sure that you're not showing any of your bio hair if it doesn't match. That's where maybe having a rooted version if you've got darker hair could be helpful. Um, you know, pulling this down. So the one thing about using the cloth headband as opposed to the bandana, which can be easier at first, is um, it will hide all of this. So depending on how you're going to wear your hair, how long the wig is, all of those things will dictate which of those bandanas or cloth headband are going to work better for you. Sometimes I will try to pull out a little bit of the wig hair down here if I don't think it's blending very well and you're seeing some of my own hair just so it sticks out some. Sometimes I don't. Um, but that's really, and then I just make sure it's pulled down. I'll go like this and I'll make sure that the wig is down low in the back. I have not, when I have the, this adhered, I have not experienced the bandana pulling the wig up in the back. If you have a very flat back of the head, I, you know, I'm not sure how that'll work for you guys. I don't, I, I think I just got an average. I don't really know. Wigs do right up in the back on me, but not terrible. So that's generally how I do it with the cloth headband. With a bandana, it's similar. It can be easier to put the hair in a ponytail first if you're going to use a bandana. So let's get back to baseline. And let me so all I'm doing is I'm reaching back. I'm maybe trying to see if I can tug a little baby hairs out on the bottom. And I'm just getting the hair in a pony. In the back. And then, I'm gonna take the bandana. The trick here 
can be not tying the hair in the bandana. I won't kill it, but so I'm gonna start by trying to maybe situate this front a little bit. And then I'm just gonna tie it underneath. Trying to avoid tying the hair in as much as I can. It's not an easy task, <laughs> but all right, good enough. I don't think I did that perfect. So now comes the messing with it. So this is where I may take my take what I said back about bandanas being easier, because <laughs> what I'm experiencing right now is at least that headband was stretchy and I could pull it up easy while I'm trying to get some curls to kind of come out. This one's not really stretchy, so. But it can be easier to get it situated in the back. So, and it also won't, the risk of it pulling the wig up on you is less because it's not stretchy and, and you can tie this as tight or as loose as you want, depending on how thick your wig is, how much permatease your wig has. Whereas the headband, even though it's stretchy, is always going to have ten a different tension on it. So I think when I talk about that bandana being easier, it's, it's those kinds of things that I'm really thinking about. So now this is your own personal preference. How much of this curl do you want kind of hanging out? And how much do you want tucked in? And that's, you just play until you like it. And I did have, I do have a little bit of hair poking out down here from the wig and that's fine. I, you know, you can, again, mess with that the way you wanna mess with it. But I think, and again, I did, doing this on film, on camera is uh, is tricky and this doesn't look exactly like maybe I would want it to look I might take a little bit more time um, I, I may have to start and stop a few times um, but I think you get the gist so it's really just trying to get it situated and then how much or how little of those curls do you want showing um, how you know do you want this fully tucked or do you want some of the curl to even stick out here you know, I like it more tucked, but actually, you know, one side, I might want one side to go in more, like maybe this side, and then leave this side kind of out. I think that this, the sky's the limit, but the whole point is you have a curly wig and you can't wear it. Do you just chalk it up as a complete loss or do you find a way to do something like this so that you can get some use out of it and give some of your other wigs a break. This is a great weekend look. Um, do you wear wigs around the house? If you are someone who does and doesn't feel comfortable wearing no, nothing on your head or you don't really like to wear hats or bandanas or turbans, this could be an option. Throw one of these on. I mean, if you had your bio hair and it were Saturday and you're cleaning and you're cooking and you're not planning to go anywhere, you wouldn't take a lot of time with your own hair. So this could look really, really realistic in that sense. Running to the grocery store. If you like just, if you throw sweatpants on and a t-shirt to run to the grocery store, this could be a great look. So this is my attempt to show you guys a little encouragement on what to do when you have a curly wig that you really can't wear. You just feel like it's too wild, it's too poofy, it's too big. There's options. There really are options. You can always try to thin the wig. I'm not comfortable thinning wigs. I've seen videos. My wig sisters have talked me through it. I've ruined a wig. I've thinned another wig that it didn't help that wig. So I tend to try to find interventions that don't require scissors as much as I can. Maybe that'll change someday. If I'm not there at this point. So let me know if you have questions about this. I will link where I get these headbands. I have 50 of them, I'm not even kidding. So many different styles and colors. They, Amazon has an unbelievable selection. Um, I'm not sure where I got my bandanas, but uh, I have a bunch of those too. That's because of my solution were headbands and bandanas for, for years before I found wigs to try to hide my hair loss. Uh, so let me know, but this is to me a fantastic option. It's not just a good option. It's not just a necessary evil because I have a bad wig. I actually think this is a viable, 
wonderful option. It's a viable hairstyle. And I feel like you will think you have a new, new life in that wig that you can't wear. So thanks for watching you guys and I'll talk to you soon and hope this was helpful for you, Lisa.